I've just managed to save a huge amount of hard drive space on my computer by moving my Daedalus wallet installation from its default location to one of my other hard drives where I have a lot more space to use up. And in this video tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to go through the process of creating a symbolic link to move your Daedalus installation over to wherever you want. You can even move it to a network drive and have that Daedalus installation shared amongst multiple computers. That's pretty cool. All right, so on your way in, if you wanna learn more about the Cardano blockchain and everything it has to offer and lots of hints and tips to make your life easier, going through this blockchain space, make sure you give me that thumbs up, subscribe, click the notification bell, lots more Cardano related content for you guys. Now, if you want the full written tutorial, you can get to it on my website at learncardano.io. It goes through every last single step on how to move that default location so that you can save some hard drive space. And let me go through this process now. So this is my Daedalus installation here, and you can see here the Daedalus state directory. Now this is where Daedalus stores the copy of the Cardano blockchain. And if I open this up, it will open up a location located on my C drive. There we go, C, users, PC, app data, roaming, Daedalus, mainnet. Now what you wanna do is get to that roaming folder there just by clicking on roaming and you'll be able to see all the applications that are installed on your computer. And I can see that Daedalus mainnet there. Now what I wanna do now is copy this folder, but before you do, it is really important that you shut down the Cardano node, the Daedalus mainnet wallet. So I'll do that here. I can see it's fully synced, but I'm just gonna shut that down. And this will allow you to actually copy it from the current location to another hard drive. Okay, so that's shut down. So what I'm gonna do is now highlight that Daedalus mainnet folder and then navigate to the drive where I want it. In this case, one of my backup drives, and I'll just have it pasted here directly on my E drive. And you can see that I've done this a little bit earlier. And if I go there now, I can see all of the files within Daedalus. And then put a one here, the chain folder. This is the entire synced Cardano blockchain at the moment. This contains all of the uh, files from the blockchain itself. So it's that, it, that will be the biggest folder. I can see here hovering over it, it's 157 gigabytes of data there in that particular folder. So it's quite a big <laughs> saving moving this over. So now I can go back to my app, app data roaming folder and I will rename this one here to backup. That way, if anything happens, I can just restore this one, rename this one to Daedalus mainnet and then reuse that particular folder for uh, my transactions that I'll be doing within Daedalus. Now, the next thing you need to do is open up command prompt with administrator rights. This will allow you to make some changes to your hard drive itself. So I'll click on start and in the search up here, I'll type in CMD and this is for command prompt. And then you have an option on the right here, run as administrator. Click on that and this will load up the command prompt with administrator rights. Now this is where it will be helpful to open up that article so that you can copy across some of these commands over to the command prompt to create that symbolic link. So this is where I'm at at the moment, open the command prompt. So I need to now navigate to my roaming directory. So I'll type in the command to navigate to my app data folder. So it's CD for change directory, C drive, users, my username, the app data folder, slash roaming, and then press enter. There we go. So that's a the exact folder I want to be in. So now I can create my symbolic link down here, and this is the command I want to copy. Now you do need to change this and customize it for your setup itself. So here in this uh, demonstration, it's linked over to the D drive, but my drive where I am moving things to is actually my E drive. So I will need to uh, change this over slightly to match what I actually want here. So you can see E drive, Daedalus mainnet. So here I will just copy this command go to the command prompt, right click to paste that in. So it's right click to paste and then change this here over to E. There we go, so that looks right. So, so let me just break this down for you so you know what's happening. So it's make link directory, directory is called Daedalus mainnet and it's going to point to E drive Daedalus mainnet. Press enter and there we go. So now my symbolic link created for Daedalus mainnet now points to E drive Daedalus mainnet. Perfect. Let's have a look at what that actually looks like on the hard drive. So here we are on the E drive. Let's go back a couple of folders. 
I'm now I'm back in my PC app data roaming folder and look at this. And here we are with Daedalus Mainnet and it's got this extra new shortcut link to it. That tells you that it is a symbolic link over to a different part of your computer. So if I double click that now, it is, it's showing that it's in my PC app data roaming Daedalus folder when really this is actually over in my E drive Daedalus mainnet folder. And I can prove that by creating a brand new file here. So I'll create a new uh, text file here. I'll call this underscore test. So that way it will appear at the top. There it is there. And I'll go back to my app roaming folder. Here we go, PC app data roaming, Daedalus mainnet, scroll down a bit, there it is. There's that text file that I just created just then. So that, that is really cool. So the next step here is starting up Daedalus itself. And let's start up Daedalus. So go back to my start screen, search for Daedalus, click on that, and then just wait for this to load again. There we go. So it's, uh, it's going to take a little bit of time just to replay and sync, but I can click on this. I can see everything looks good here and I can see my Daedalus state directory is still pointed to my user's PC, PETA PC, app data roaming Daedalus mainnet. But remember that is now a symbolic link over to my E drive and not using up my hard drive space on my C drive. So that is what we're wanting in this case. So I'm gonna close this and just wait for this to boot up. Everything looks really good. So it's verified all the data on the disk. Now it's replaying the ledger just to make sure everything's okay. There we go. I can see that the uh, ledger is replaying on the disk and now it's also starting to sync as well, which is really cool. So any minute now it should be done. And we are done. There we go. So blocks synced 100%, really, really cool. And this is all using a different hard drive. Now you can go ahead and play around with this and configure onto a network drive, a different uh, computer even. And if you map that correctly, you'll be able to connect to it uh, via Daedalus installation. Now you can't have multiple Daedalus installations connected at the same time. You'll just have one computer that's syncing that Daedalus instance uh, so that you can interact with it. So if I have my laptop over here and I wanna connect to it, I can uh, create a shared drive and link into that version of the Cardano node. So really cool that you can do this. Now I have a lot more hacks for Daedalus as well. So make sure you subscribe so you can find out more about how you can get the most out of your trading experience on Cardano. Looking forward to bringing you more and more content. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like.